Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am on the river just after dawn this morning. The sun has kind of peaked up over the horizon over there. And I'm on my way down to try to catch some big catfish today. Now my last catfishing trip was a few days ago. And I drifted this section of the river, hooked a monster flathead, a bit, one of my biggest of the year. And where I ended up on this on that trip was I got down to an area and started catching some bigger blues. And so I thought today I'm gonna take this same stretch of the river, go down where I finished and start my drift there today and see if I can get back on some blues, maybe some more flatheads. So anyway, y'all, I'm heading down here now. I'm gonna go get lines in. We'll pick this video up then. Y'all disregard my graph here. I ain't got it properly mounted, but I've got some fish right here under me. And well, speak of the devil. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up just like that. Oh, he was after it. I was gonna say though, y'all, I just got down here and got lines in and started making my way down river. The, there's a light breeze out here. I gotta get back on the pedals. There's a light breeze out here today. And it's blowing upstream. And so what little bit of current I have is being offset by the wind. And so I'm kind of using my pedals. I'm in my Old Town kayak today, kind of my bare bones set up, two rod holders, my graph that's not on a mount and my pedals here. And so I'm, I'm pedaling kind of into the wind here just to keep my speed moving forward about a half a mile an hour or so. I haven't had lines in very long at all and just saw all them fish down there and that rod was getting hit. So off to a good start. I'm pretty optimistic the fact of seeing this many fish on the graph so quickly. So uh, it's about to be on y'all. It's about to be on. I can feel it down in my innards. It's gonna be a good day. I got one after my head bait here. That's my big bait. It ain't acting like a big fish, but my gosh, I think he got the business into that hook. Fish number one, y'all. Fish number one, just a few minutes into the trip, and he just got bigger. This fish just got bigger, y'all. Oh man, he didn't feel that big at first. And then he just kind of took off. All right, here we go, y'all. I just felt like it was gonna be a good day when I got out here and dropped lines in, and I saw fish on my graph right away. I was like, oh boy, it could be, it could be potentially a good day right here. And then this headbait goes down. I'm curious to see what this is when we get up here. I mean, it feels like a pretty daggone good fish, especially for fish number one. Sometimes you get one of them small fish to start and, and it, you feel like you got nowhere to go but up. This fish here might set the bar high for us. I don't, I don't know what this is yet. Statistically speaking, it'll probably be a blue, but based on how it's fought, I can't really tell yet. We're getting close. I'm seeing the, some bubbles come up here. I'm 39 feet right here where I'm at. No, that ain't a blue either. That's a flathead. I thought he might've been fighting funny. Look at this, look at this. He didn't eat the head either. He didn't eat the head, he got the stinger. He got my stinger hook, y'all. Look at that. It's right there in his mouth. Dag on stinger fly, man. That's why, that's why it felt, I guarantee, let me get this fish landed. I know what's happened here. That was not acting like a big fish at first. It didn't feel like a big fish at first and then it just took off. I bet you what happened was I had a small dink after that head and this flathead come up and snatched that stinger fly out from under it. I guarantee you that's what happened. I guarantee it, man. Wow. Get up here, flathead. Get up here, get up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice flathead. How about that for fish number one, y'all? I knew today was gonna be a good day. There we go. Got that on the flashing shad uh bait stinger or bait stalker excuse me there from catfish sumo that's one of the new colors i haven't tried this color before but by gosh it just paid off with a nice flatty here we go man nice flathead fish number one of the trip i ate the stinger fly man catfish sumo just come out with them bait stalkers and i the 
flies I had been using initially was hand tied by my friend Dewey. And they were white with a red head. And when Catfish Sumo come out with their version, they made several different color patterns. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna try on that flashing shad because it's kind of a, a chartreuse orange color. Just put it down there, see what happens. Especially today where I'm, you know, I'm in 40 feet here or less. I thought maybe there might be enough light penetration for fish to discern some color down there. Who knows if the color made a difference or not. But by gosh, this flatheads, he saw it. He gobbled it up. <laughs> All right, well, let's let it go. All right, Flatty, you got anything you want to say? Nothing. He ain't got nothing to say. He's speechless. He's out of here is what he is. He gone. All right, y'all. That was pretty cool, man. Again, I'm pretty confident I had a small blue because it acted like a blue. It didn't feel like a big fish. And then all of a sudden I felt it. It just took off. And I bet I had just a, a blue kind of clamp down on that head bait because that's a bigger bait. And that flathead just come up and snatched that fly. Saw an opportunity to snatch that fly and took off. And that's what I felt. So pretty cool experience for fish number one. Let's get this bait back down here. I'll show you, show you what I'm doing here. So again, I'm in my Old Town kayak today, which I've got two rod holders mounted to. This is a very basic setup. It's a very fun setup because this kayak is a little bit lighter weight. It's smaller than my other one that I normally fish out of. And when you get a fish on in this thing, you get a sleigh ride, man. You get a kayak sleigh ride. That's what makes kayak fishing fun. And so I've got head baits on, or a head bait, I should say, on this rod on the left. I'm gonna rehook this thing. With that stinger fly, that's the, again, the flashing shad color it's called, orange chartreuse. Got some tinsel on there to give it a little flash. And that's on my uh, Carolina rig. I'm gonna drop it back down. Again, 40 feet here, currently where I sit. I'll have that thing raised up to 37 foot-ish right now and adjust it as we go down through here. Now on my other rod, on the other side of the kayak, I've got a smaller bait and I've got a a smaller piece of skipjack, just a chunk. Yesterday I went out, I did some ultralight fishing, made a, a raw and uncut video for those of you who like those. And after I got done filming that, I went after some skipjack. And so I got a few of those in the cooler. That's the only bait I have with me today. So that's what we're rolling with, but it is my favorite bait, especially this time of year. So I'm gonna get spun back around here. I'm just gonna work my way down this ledge. Again, my last catfishing trip a few days ago, I started way up river and drifted down and this area here is where I ended that trip. So today I'm starting out here and just gonna work my way downstream. Just kind of, I'll try to show you here on my graph here, just kind of working the edge of the contours, just working my way down river. So anyway, enough of this. Let's get back to fishing and catch some more. That was a good time y'all. Here goes the head again. Here goes the head again. You know, last trip out, y'all, the head didn't hardly get any attention at all. It was the chunk bait. And I'll be doggone today, here's two fish. Well, at least on the head raw, that flathead ate to fly, but it was on that side. This one here, boy, he's all wrapped up in that line. That's a small blue. He's ate to, or tried to eat the head anyway. He's got to the hook that the head bait was in he's i don't know what's going on with this fish. he's too calm i'll tell you that he's kind of lassoed around the mouth he's gonna he's gonna do that right there is what he's gonna do he just knocked my paddle off the kayak doggone him that fish tried to steal my paddle did you see that listen fish that paddle probably ain't worth as much he thought he was getting a piece of memorabilia but the fact that i never paddle anymore it paddle probably ain't worth as much on the eBay as what a used hook would be there, fish. So, you know, you better think it through. Try to steal something else if you're going to steal from me, fish. He may have just wanted a unique souvenir. You never know about these fish. You never know. You never know what it is they're thinking. Come here, fish. Lord, you done got this thing. You done got this all... Got your head all jacked up today, fish. 
it'd probably improve the way you look too because you was a pretty ugly fish to begin with there we go i'll fix that back here in a minute just a little old blue cat there a little old thing but it's another bite on the head bait let's take a look at it and fix it here just rehook it and we're gonna send it right back down man with this kayak here only only being able to fish two rods i'll definitely be switching my baits out more frequently this one here i mean i've no longer and i've been on the water it's still good and pink and everything we'll send it back down but normally i'm pretty conservative with bait in my other kayak because i got four lines out and today with only having two i want my baits in pristine condition so we're going to be switching them out a little bit more frequently trying to keep everything good and fresh not a bad idea to do that anytime but again i'm pretty i'm pretty conservative on bait you know i spend a lot of time and effort to go out and get bait i try to maximize my number of fish on each piece as the sun is directly behind me you can't see any of this right now my ratings just went up when my face got blocked out but uh, anyway like i was saying we're gonna freshen our baits today i'm gonna get spun back around now keep going back down river Let's go catch some more. The bite's on today, y'all. My head bait again. My head bait again, y'all. Boy, that's a popular bait. Oh, man, he's a pulling. Goodness gracious. I think I hit my drag, made it even tighter. I'm gonna come off that thing a little bit. Sometimes I get putting rods in and out of my car that I think my drag gets bumped. Sometimes it gets too tight, sometimes too loose. That there took it down pretty hard, but I don't think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be no monster. He's a pulling though, man. That's what it's about. I like playing tug of war with these fish. I like it when I pull on them and they pull back. It's been a pretty active morning thus far. I mean, three fish very quickly. Now I still see, I don't know if you can see on the graph, but I still see marks on there. They've just been kind of all down this ledge. In the short distance that I've covered so far. This is the blue. I'm gonna tire him out a second here before I go bring him in because he's he's got all pee peed and vinegar this morning here. He's upset. He didn't know he was gonna be on video today, so he he had plans today. He had plans no, he splashed me. He's gonna he's gonna act out. He said he'll show me. He said next time I'll send him an email three days in advance let him know he's going to be on video. He is not prepared. That's a pretty good fish, though. I see now why he took the rod over so hard. I thought I didn't think he was this big as I was fighting him, bringing him in, but I can definitely see why that fish put the rod tip in the water now that I've got to look at him. Boy, that was a big splash right down there, too. There's some activity here, y'all. There's some activity going on. Oh, man, he just took back off. Oh, goodness gracious. Boy, he is hell bent on getting me soaking wet this morning, ain't he? This fish is just out of control, y'all. Out of control. You gonna get up here, fish. I'm gonna put a pump knot on this one's head if he don't quit. Get up here, fish. You coming in now. You coming in, fish. You gonna calm it down, man. That fish has got some weight on him now. He's got some girth to him. On the head bait, popular bait so far. That's a nice one right there, man. I see now why this fish took the rod down so hard. <laughs> he just didn't, he didn't start out fighting. We had that initial surge, big takedown. And then once I got him up to the surface, he really wanted to show out and get me all soaking wet, which he has proceeded to do. But yeah, man, that fish got some shoulders on him right there. Nice blue cat. All right, buddy, you wanna go home? He says, yeah, he wants to go home. He didn't wanna come up here in this kayak to begin with. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, man. That's fun, y'all, I'm telling you. Active morning out here today. Active morning. That acted like a flathead. I believe we got a flathead on that rod, y'all. 
I believe we do. I'm gonna, oh boy, he's on there, man. That's a flathead, I guarantee it. Somebody bet me a dollar on this one, that's a flathead. I was cutting up another bait in the floor there to put on my other rod. I was gonna go ahead and switch it out. And this rod just got a thump and just had a slow takedown. Yeah, that's a flathead, I guarantee it, man. I guarantee it, and I'm still, I was just sitting here, you know, I'm actually moving kind of upstream because the wind's blowing me upriver. And he nailed it. Just thumped it, buddy, on the head. <laughs> I just put on a new head. I switched that other one out, it would, oh my gosh, no. He just let it go. <sighs> well, missed that flathead. I guarantee you it was a flathead though. I'm gonna drop it right back down. We'll see if he, we'll see if he wants to come back for it possibly. Man, it felt like a pretty good fish too. All right, let me set that up there. Let's see, I got another, I got another chunk cut here. I'm gonna stick on this rod to spruce everything up again. I'm trying to keep everything good and fresh today. You know what, this rod here, well, that's why I ain't getting, one of them, one of them dink taps stole my bait. I guess that's why that chunk ain't been getting no attention down there, huh? Hard to get a, hard to get a chunk eat if you ain't got a chunk on the hook. That one there, you can see I got the, the white stinger fly with the red head and a little bit of tinsel on there. We'll drop it down. That'll definitely help our cause having an actual piece of bait on the hook. <laughs> well, my chunk, imagine that. I got an actual piece of bait on that hook and it gets eaten. <laughs> Secret to success while catfishing, put bait on hook. I don't think this one's gonna be very big. That other small one I got this morning, I brought my measuring board. I'm in a slot tournament this month. I need to be putting three more small fish on the board to finish out my score. And this one here, I can't score. I forgot to do the other one. And this one here, he ain't, he ain't big enough to be worthwhile anyway, but I've hooked him in the back with that stinger hook. The stinger hook has stung again. Look at you, fish. Your mama's gonna be embarrassed when she sees you got snagged in the back with a stinger fly. Well, I'm gonna need the pliers on that too, fish. That, that hide on these catfish is leather, man. I mean, it's just, you can't hardly get that thing out. There we go. Finally got that hook out. That fish there is going home with a, he's gonna have a scar. He'll remember this day forever. Every time he looks in the mirror and sees that scar. Well, he got me all twisted up there with that line too, didn't he? Let's get that thing unwrapped there. There we go. Well, at least he left the bait on. That's most important. It's almost like it never happened. Now don't tell that fish it didn't happen. Oh, that's another big splash of, oh, look at that. I didn't even feel that. I didn't even feel that rod right there, y'all. That, that rod, let me get my hands. I got slime all over my hands there. I didn't even feel that rod get hit. I bet that's another flathead. I bet it's another flathead right here. Maybe I can get redemption on that one I think I lost. I'm confident that other one I lost was a flathead. Oh man, this feels good too. Just tighten up that drag a little bit. I just loosened it a little while ago. It was too tight. Now I want to make sure I don't give this fish too much. Yeah, man. Didn't even feel the daggone thing. Glanced over. I heard that big splash over there. Glanced over and I'm like, oh crap. Man, it's active out here this morning. Some days you just come out and you just know you're going to have a good day. And, and that's the day for me. I'll come out and I saw them fish immediately and, and, and got hooked up. I'm like, today's gonna be a good day. Every day on the water's a good day, but some days are just, you know you're gonna get bit. I guarantee this is gonna be a flathead though. I guarantee it. He's fighting like a Dickens too, man. 
goodness gracious man oh man what a day y'all what a day oh boy come on up here flathead i just want to get a look at you i want to get a look at you flathead oh that's a good one that's a good flathead he's on the fly too y'all oh my gosh he's on the fly too he's on the stinger fly that's a that's the second one on that fly oh man what are the odds of that i mean he's got it in the mouth too that's not even like an accidental that's not an accidental hook that's not an accidental snap he just threw my head bait off but i mean look at that he's got it right in the daggone jaw man get over here flathead that's a nice flathead that's a nice flathead let me see if i can get him back up here oh man look at that y'all oh man the stinger fly getting it done today come up here oh man look at that flathead guys look at that thing come up here come up here get it. okay oh buddy that's a good flathead that's a good flathead i got him he actually he's got that fly on the outside of his mouth right there boy it just come right out too Oh, man. Get up here, flathead. Oh, y'all, that's a good flathead. Oh, man. Let's hold him up. That's my second huge flathead. Two trips in a row here. A few days ago, come out, got a monster. Just done it again. This one on the fly, he had that fly in the outside of the mouth, so don't know if he you know, come after the head bait and just got that fly. I thought he'd eat it, but it was on the outside. Either way, stinger fly got me this fish that I wouldn't have got otherwise. I'm gonna lean back a little bit here. Oh man. <laughs> oh buddy, that's a good fish. The colors on this thing's amazing. He is a beautiful fish. Oh man, <laughs> it's so much fun. I love fishing out of this kayak. My other kayak's fun for YouTube. It's like all that space and I can put out more rods and get more fish and stuff, but just being able to get towed around on a lighter weight, smaller profile kayak. This is what got me hooked on kayak fishing. <laughs> One last look. Oh man, let's let him go. All right, flathead. You were a battle, buddy. Snuck up on me. Like a thief in the night, man. Just come out of nowhere. And just took that rod over and it was on. And I wonder if that wasn't the same one possibly that I lost a little while ago. Because I'm right here in that same general area. We'll never know. But what a day, man. What a day. My, day, my day's made... That big flathead there, I mean, the other one was a good one. That one, that's great, but I gotta get some baits down there. I had that bait up. I hadn't loaded it back down when I saw that one and they, he flung the head off. So I'm gonna cut another head, drop it down. Fist pump time, man, heck yeah. There's our next bait going down right there. Big head, bleeding real good, stinger fly under it. Some people have said, some have asked and some have said i should do it about putting scent on the fly itself people have asked should have i done it or some people have told me i should i don't think it's necessary to be quite honest with you because think about this your piece of cut bait is just a few inches right above that fly it's bleeding it's leaching off those oils it's putting out scent all around that fly there so it's kind of doing it for you getting some commercial scent from you know the tackle store and putting on that fly i just don't think it's gonna make a big difference so that's why i haven't done it but that's the answer to all of you who have asked or suggested it that's why i don't <laughs> here we go again here we go again on the head here we go again on the head man that feels like a blue right there i had a little i don't know 15 20 minute break y'all between fish i kind of just sat where i was at up there i don't have spot lock on this kayak you know no motor but i was just kind of holding myself in place 
I didn't get any more fish. So I turned, I've been making my way back down this ledge and a few minutes later, here we go, hooked up again. It's gonna be a blue here. Yeah, this one here might be one to score for the, for the slot turn. No, I ain't gonna score him either. Cause I foul hooked that one too with the fly. Boy, these flies have got me some fish today, by God. They've got me some fish today, man, as this boat goes by here. Listen, fish, you out of luck, buddy. You ain't the main event of this show with the flatheads and the fact you're too dumb to get hooked in the mouth. I get them pliers on that hook, you getting let go without getting, without even coming in. There you go, he gone. Got the quick release on him. Well, doggone y'all. I thought I was gonna score me one for the tournament. I was about dumped my rod overboard. Our slot tournament there, it gotta be hooked in the mouth. And you know, if I was a dishonest person, I could score some fish like that, but I don't care enough about it to be doing any kind of cheating for no more people that's in these things no more money's in the pot i don't think anybody's going to cheat in them but you never know but i ain't going to do it regardless of how much money's in the pot i am going to hook that bait back on there and drop it back down though and see if i can get another one that blue there i think just come up and took a bite of that head and rolled on it and end up rolling into that stinger fly either way Got me another tug on the line. Got me excited till I seen he was foul hook. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just make my way down river here like initially planned and just cover some water here. I'd set up there till I felt like I wasn't gonna get bit anymore. And there wasn't really nothing where I got that flathead. It wasn't really nothing there to kind of hold that fish. I think it was just kind of working up that ledge. That's why I follow the contours like I do. I get on that deepest break line and go because those are kind of, highways and here's one here's one for us let's reel this one in now we'll see where this one's hooked at what well, these contours they're kind of the catfish highways you get fish traveling up and down them as they're on the move and i think that's what happened with the flathead i was just right place right time this is a really small fish here i ain't gonna bother sticking him on the board either He's actually hooked in the mouth. I could score him, but no bigger than he is ain't worthwhile. Oh, calm it down, fishy. Boy, this and here's in a bad way. He wasn't going nowhere, was he? He had to... Boy, he's bleeding like a stuck hog. To get out of here, fish. Making a mess all over the dang kayak. You know I don't like to get my kayak dirty now. <laughs> That's a, that's a lie for sure. My kayaks never get washed. He wasn't going nowhere. He had a big hook in the mouth and the fly in the tail. Well, let me get me another chunk for this rod and I'll be reset again and we'll keep making our way down river. Okay, he just ate it then. No, he didn't. I'm all, oh, he got it then. He got it then. He got it then, y'all. I thought he had it and then he didn't. I had the rod in my hand when he took off with it. I wonder, he felt attention and let it go when I raised up on that rod. He thought it was getting away and he come back and snatched it. Bites really slowed down. Wind's kind of picked up just a little bit. It's, it's tolerable, it's not bad, but the bite though has just kind of doo dooed out. Fish, we say you come up here. I might throw this one on the. If he acts like that, I ain't gonna throw him nowhere. Throw him back in the water. I was gonna say I might throw this one on the board. Go ahead and score him from a slot tournament. All right, y'all. That in there, twenty nine inches. Our slot term has got to be under 30 inches. Satin right there will work out. 
I'm hell bent on not carrying this board all month long. <laughs> I hate carrying that board around and measuring fish, but I needed to sign up for this month's tournament so that I can get enough points to qualify for the big tournament next month. Look at here, that fish had knocked that bait off. And my stinger fly caught it too. That stinger fly saved me a bait. <laughs> Y'all, I've made a mistake by the way too. So turns out I was messaging my buddy Daniel in between fish here, owner of Catfish Sumo. I was telling him about them flatheads getting caught on that flashing shad color stinger fly that orange flashing shad he said the orange one is apparently called goldfish this is the flashing shad the white one so i've lied to you and so i apologize you know old daniel he never he never misses an opportunity to correct me because me i hardly ever make a mistake you know so it don't happen often that he gets the opportunity but boy he he gets on me when i do so thankfully he caught me before i was done filming this video today Either way, I may not know the names of these fancy colors, but I know that chartreuse and orange one caught them daggone flatheads today. And so I don't know if it had anything to do with the color or not. I Personally, I, I never thought color really made a difference with catfish because when you're fishing deep, the light penetration down there is minimal. So how can they see to discern colors? But at the same time too, that small fly you know basically a feather on a hook down there it's not causing a lot of vibration not a lot of movement but these fish down there that deep are eating it you know they're getting it in the mouth and i've caught since i started since my buddy dewey put me on this concept a few months ago i've caught a bunch of fish on the fly eating it I've caught some down 100 feet deep on that fly so i know they can they they know that flies there they know that so whether or not they can see a call, I don't know. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. But uh, the fly on that rig definitely is getting me some extra fish. And I'm all about getting extra fish. All right, y'all. So I've been making my way down river all morning. And the farther I get downstream, the less fish I'm catching, the less fish I see on the graph. So I'm making a move right now. I'm coming back upstream here where I started. Going to try to get back on them fish again. And getting up here, I immediately see on the graph. I'll show you here. Hopefully you can see without the glare, but there's just all kinds of fish stacked up down there. So hopefully I'm gonna get up here, get back above them and work my way back down through and hopefully get on some more bites again. Oh, don't look now, I may have one. I do, I do have one. Oh, it's been a while y'all. Man, it's been a while. That bite I was on just died this morning. Now, I don't know if it's the time, you know, oftentimes I get a feeding window right around dawn so i don't know if they just shut off because of the time or maybe the weather the wind is still blowing the same direction that i got out here but it's picked up a little bit either way i come back up here upstream where i'd got those other fish at and uh, it hasn't helped my cause i've seen them on the graph but i can't get them to eat so i don't know what's up but i do have this one He's a uh, larger fun size. I mean, uh, larger dink, smaller fun size. Oh, he don't like me changing his classification there. This fish did not want to be called a dink. He'll be too big from a slot tournament, at least. Hopefully, he's still not happy. I can't please this daggone fish. Okay, let's bring him in and look at him like that. He would be front camera worthy on most days. But because he was a little butthole and got me soaking wet after I just dried out. And we got those other big flatheads. Sorry, fish. You ain't front camera. You ain't getting no front camera time today. These fish, man, they, they act out like that. Get me on. I mean, look at him. He splashed me good here. He may have a camera all soaking wet, too. I don't know. That dang fish. Some of them just unruly. Some of them rude like that. But he's pretty good time. It was nice to get a bite again. I don't know what happened. I mean, it was just, I was getting fish there pretty consistently there early. Got the big flatheads, but I thought I just ran out of them, you know, got too far away, moved downstream, and maybe they were kind of hanging out here, and I think they are because I keep seeing them on the graph, but 
they're not eating now so i don't know what something changed i don't know what changed but something changed and my bite just kind of died well guys i think i'm getting ready to call it it's been hour and a half or so since my last fish it's just bite just died on me but it was good while it lasted anytime i get a big flathead the trip's made even if that's the only bite i get so i'm thankful for the other fish i got on top of that but uh it's been fun, y'all. I'm going to take it to the house. Actually, I think I'm going to take it to China King Buffet first and then go to the house. So that's my plan. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.